Oh, so there is the Flipper Zero, and there was a cyber attack that involved this Flipper Zero that can hack the Apple iPhone. Apple has responded with their new update that counterattacks this Flipper Zero cyber attack. I'm gonna talk about in this video the interesting way that Apple is counterattacking this cyber attack. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm Mark Janad. We are going dark. Apple has blocked a Bluetooth attack carried out by with the Flipper Zero that sent a barrage of pop-ups to iPhones, causing them to lock up and crash. While Apple hasn't formally announced the change, it appears the company has rolled out a fix in iOS 17.2, according to the test from uh, source ZDNet and 9to5Mac. The attack, which allowed users to crash nearby iPhones running iOS 17.0, involved the Flipper Zero, which is a tiny jack-of-all-trades hacking device. A third-party firmware called Flipper Extreme included a feature that allowed the Flipper's built-in Bluetooth radio to blast an overwhelming number of Bluetooth alerts to devices. Until now, the only way to prevent the attacks was to completely disable Bluetooth on the iPhone, but it looks like Apple has finally addressed the vulnerability. When attempting to lock up an iPhone running iOS 17.2 with the Flipper Zero, both ZDNet and 9to5Mac, the sources, found that only a few pop-ups appeared on the device. Fortunately, the number of notifications wasn't enough to cause the device to crash. We still don't know exactly what Apple did to make the fix, but The Verge, another source, reached out to Apple with a request for more information and uh, we'll update this article, you know, this, this this source, I'll update you with this information when uh, The Verge gets, you know, more information. But for now though, it's a good idea to update your iPhone to iOS 17.2 if you have not already. So, uh, like you said, like it was said, Flipper Zero uh, <laughs> exposed the vulnerability in the Apple iPhone, uh, but Apple has uh, gone back to the lab, gone back to the drawing board, and was able to figure out uh, how to counterattack uh, the vulnerability that Flipper Zero presents for that, you know, those devices. So, what do you think? Do you think that uh, Apple should, should uh, how can I say this, invest more in, you know, like maybe bug bounties or things like that to see, you know, kind of like what I talked about in the um, Pentagon video. Do you think they should do that? Do you think Apple should invest in more, uh, you know, like a bug bounty kind of thing? Please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I appreciate your viewership. Please share the content. I'll see you on the next video.